What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling fantastic today. So for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes and shares. Your support really is just amazing, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. So the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, you know what, even you're in this cancer, this one's for you. <laughs> and I do tarot card spreads based off our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going void, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me. Never force a reading on a situation and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Gems, feeling lovely. Just great energy all around here, Cancer. So Cancer, the moon is in Aquarius. And with the moon being in Aquarius, the Aquarian energy, they're very much about the soul tribe, you know, about the about humanitarianism. So this is a great energy for if you've been wanting to get out and be just more social cancer, or maybe you've been wanting to maybe join a group or even to get involved in maybe some sort of like charity or community thing along those lines. Aquarius energy is fantastic for that. But you may also notice as well, Cancer, because Aquarius energy can be a little bit of uh, emotionally detached. It's not cold, but it's just like they prefer logic. It's like they understand emotions in a, in a, in a you know, air signs. What are you going to do with them? <laughs> but just something to think about there as well, Cancer. But this is also great energy too, because it, because Aquarius energy, you know, being one of the uh, co-ruled by uh, Uranus here, they're very much about the future as well. So this could be something to do, be thinking about that, Cancer. You know, where uh, where you th where you see yourself, you know, maybe in like what's your next year plan or something along those lines. And maybe even again talking with some people, getting some brainstorming, seeing where seeing where just uh, where everyone's kind of heads at and seeing where the energies are going. But also, Cancer. We're, still, we're in uh, the waning gibbous phase still. And with the waning gibbous, this is a time of really, I feel like appreciation of like appreciating how you've transformed and reflecting on, do we like everything that has gone down so far? Is this how we pictured this thing going? And if not, you know, we evaluate that stuff, we do some tweaks, and then, you know, as we're, as we're getting into this next lunar cycle, maybe we're, we're continuing this thing one more, or, you know, however that's looking. But this really is a great energy for meditation, you know, really going within and just figuring out if, um, if we're in, if we're feeling real solid about where um, where we're at, you know, what's the start? You know, gotta have it like solidified right now. But just even thinking about just like what are we gonna tackle on this next lunar cycle? We got we got a little bit of time, but just something to think about there, Cancer. And then last few things. These readings that I do, they're not gender specific readings, so apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations. And then I've included links for one for some readers that I personally like watching. I've included their uh, links to their channels down in the description box as well as um, the decks that I uh, work with. So definitely check that out if you're interested, Cancer. Ooh, Cancer, we're getting intuitive. I'm with it. So your general energy of the day is the first card of Scorpios here, which is the crystal ball. <laughs> Look at you, Cancer. What's your, what's your fortune telling? <laughs> I'm with it. Because this is a card of intuition, premonition, seeing clearly, discernment, perception, sixth sense, instinct, divination, future planning, ESP, past, present, future, gut reaction, and inner knowing. And you know, Cancer, we are very intuitive sign. You know, it's, and I feel like with this moon in Aquarius, I feel like that's a great reminder of finding that balance between the head and the heart. Because sometimes I feel that we can be in a place where, or at least, you know, like sometimes I feel like, you know, there's this, there's this stigma where it's like, if we get, if, if emotions get involved, then they don't have a place. You know what I mean, Cancer? But 
it can't all be logic because if there was no point of water energy, because that's where, you know, a lot of the intuition, the feelings and stuff like that, then it wouldn't be, we wouldn't be included in here. You know, there'd be, you know, we'd be, we'd probably be like an earth sign or something. But I feel that if you've been maybe operating more in kind of like a logical mind, I feel like it's allowing yourself that energy to feel more cancer because that's where, that's where that inner knowing comes in because uh, we're, because our, our emotions are so strong and they're so frequent when we come to when we get that discernment of how we respond when each emotion comes through it's like king of cups type of energy we we feel the emotion you analyze it process it and then you let it go you send it off and I feel that when we can get into that practice, that really helps sharpen our intuition. But it's we have to be with those emotions. It, it really is can be can be kind of a tricky game here, Cancer. But it's I find that if we do have troubles with that, you know, when when like let's say maybe like when intense emotions come up. I feel that it's it is remaining present in that situation, you know. And even thinking about past stuff, it's like, okay, what happened when this feeling came up last time? Okay, I responded this way, and it's like if we're noticing a similar type of response, how can we change this up in the present to change that future? Very high priestess type of energy here, but um, I do feel like Cancer, with where the energies are going, intuition is on point. You know, I feel like especially with where like Saturn being in Pisces, that's forming a, a trine with our with your Cancer placements, and even Neptune's got a little bit. You know, it's been really kind of cooking up our intuition over the last about fourteen years or so, um, but. You know, we really, I feel like, are entering a time where the future is, it's going to need to be this combination of logic and emotion. And we, when we can fuse, or when we can, get yeah, fuse that together and really learn to tune into these, these internal signals and really understand, it really helps planning, um, really helps with future planning and things along those lines. Cancer helps you navigate through this journey uh, a lot easier. Because here's the thing where we may not be able to control how situations may happen to us. When we can learn how to navigate those feelings, it, it, it really just makes a tower moment and things just so much lighter. But this may be something to energy, or <laughs> energy, this may be something to Cancer, where if some of you maybe have been thinking about maybe doing, um, getting into divination, getting into more spiritual spiritual practices, whether this be maybe we're thinking about scrying, maybe we're looking into tarot, maybe we're, oh, I don't know, I was just talking with someone, they were talking, telling me this cool thing where someone's like, um, oh, what is that called? There's like, it's like reading bones or something. I don't know where you're getting into cancer. This is a judgment-free zone here. But I mean, just if you've been thinking about doing anything along those lines to get more in touch with your intuition, I feel like really this is great energy for that. And any kind of practice cancer, it doesn't have to be anything even along those lines. This could be Art can be a way of getting in touch with your intuition or maybe even cooking, you know, any sort of like space where you're just you're 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 tapping into your senses, you know, you're just really kind of feeling things out. But let's uh, let's see how we can work with this intuitive energy cancer. I, I like that. And, you know, I also feel like with this cancer, this energy is also trusting that intuition just when you when you know that just that something in your feeling, something doesn't feel right with the situation, make sure that we're listening to that because that's a great way of strengthening that too. Because you've, you've, if you've been in those situations where it's just like you you had an inkling that something was going to go a certain way and it's just like, oh, let's just see anyway. And then it goes exactly how you thought it was. It's just like, man, I should have trusted my intuition. It's like, how can we turn some of those, uh, diminish those situations, you know? But let's see what we got here, Cancer. Nice. Okay. So you got the judgment card and the 10 of swords in reverse here, but then we have the five of pentacles upright. And you know, Cancer, I feel like with this energy, we are getting in an, in an, If you just got out of something, I feel like with this Ten of Swords, because this can be a card of kind of like hitting rock bottom, you know, hitting like a, maybe going through a really kind of tough time. And maybe we're at this place where we're really kind of processing this stuff and feeling like, like, where do we, 
like where do we possibly go wrong you know or like how could we have let this situation happen to us maybe he's got you in a place where we're feeling just kind of really down and out and just like not feeling secure or anything along those lines maybe this was a relationship maybe this was like a business a partnership you know maybe like business and things but I feel that if we're in a place where maybe we're we're if we're, we're like questioning if our if we if we can trust our our judgment or something along those lines, absolutely you can, Cancer. But it's just we have to take these times when we're in situations like this. This is what I was talking about: being very present, reflect on this stuff. What went wrong? Did you were there were there indicators that we may that maybe at the time we kind of dismissed as just sort of like, oh man, it's whatever. But when it actually was like, higher self was just like, hey, there's a big shift that's getting ready to come. Are you sure you want to go in this thing, Cancer? This might be a, might be a lesson in here. But, and, and listen, Cancer, when we do get in those situations, it's not meant to keep you down. It's not meant to, because we it's a learning process, this journey. And tapping into intuition and stuff, because I feel like we've gotten so, as a society, you know, and I feel like that's really coming back back now. But I feel like, you know, we've we had gotten a little detached from, from listening to that gut, you know, and really, really tuning into that stuff. So... Yeah, really let these moments, especially if we've been if we're if we're healing through something right now, we really are maybe questioning our senses or you know, we're trying to figure out what that future is looking like or something. It's just like know that if anything, this situation has taught you discernment. You know, not that it's you know, when you get that like, oh, when you're when your ears start getting warm or when you know when you get tingles or your your hair on your arms stand up or whatever those body signals are. I feel that when we really learn to tune into that and just get that into practice, man, Cancer, you're going to navigate this thing like a boss, but it is paying attention to where could I have, where was I getting signals from higher self and I was ignoring them? You know, for example, um, there was a time, you know, prior to really kind of getting in touch with my spirituality that I was kind of going in like a 10, definitely in like a 10 of swords kind of situation. And I was... At the time, you know, I was really kind of expressing it through song at the time, but I wasn't, I wasn't really paying attention because when I went to listen back to the lyrics, this was like maybe, this is like maybe like a year ago, man, you talk about a cry for help, but it's just like, I was jamming at the time because it was just music and it's paying attention to stuff like that because really when I looked at it, the problems were in my face as plain as day and it's just like, oh, (laughs) but we learn from it, Cancer. It helps us grow. And ours, ours is a sign, you know, one thing is about experiential wisdom. Sometimes we need to go through Ten of Swords so that we can understand how that feels because that not just builds experience for you, but that helps develop compassion because being the nurturers of the Zodiac, you know, who better to understand feelings than us? You know, maybe like, you know, Pisces and Scorpio, of course, you know, being, uh, being the other water signs. But, you know, when people come to us, it, it, we are able to have this level of empathy and things because we do understand to a degree or we can feel to a certain level there. And that's intuition too, Cancer, even to be able to relate to someone like that and to feel what they're feeling. So... Just something to think about. And I just feel like that really try not to let a past situation or maybe something that went down keep you from moving on because after the judgment card is the world, you know, getting to the end of a cycle. So, for, you know, try not to let a situation get you where you stay stuck or anything along those lines. Maybe something too. Maybe this is like maybe talk this out with someone. You see these two here, you know, yeah. You know, let's talk about these tough times, you know, maybe where we where we kind of doubted our things, where we felt, you know, but it's all meant to bring bring that security in the end, Cancer. Ooh, all right, Cancer. I hope that makes sense. It's always interesting when we're talking about uh, intuition here. But and I will say, Cancer, just. Yeah, I'm getting like a doubling down here or just like an, an, an emphasis of just like. Because sometimes when these situations happen, you know, even after we've grown from them. You know, this could be where, not to say that this was like a devil situation, but when I'm, it reminded me of the devil in the sense that like sometimes when we think we've gotten past something, higher self may throw maybe not as heavy of a situation, but another, another, uh, something similar to it to see like, did we really learn from this thing? And if not, it's fine. It's just like, okay, there's still, there's still this area that's still a little weak, you know, and it gives you something else to think about. So, something to think about (laughs) but let's get to uh let's see what are some challenges 
with working with this energy. Absolutely. All right, Cancer. So you got the Ace of Cups upright, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have the Queen of Wands upright. And so some challenges, Cancer. You know, when you think about the Ace of Cups, there's usually on, on, on other Ace of Cups where it's like these five streams are pouring out. And those are supposed to represent your five senses. And then the bird that's diving down is supposed to represent your sixth sense, you know, your higher self. And I really feel like the challenge is making sure that we are just, again, being present when, when these situations happen. Really tune in to how we're feeling. Checking in with ourselves. If something doesn't feel right, you know what I mean? Then not to just rush into something. With the Queen of Wands here, use, a, like, use, just, like, use that discernment. If just something doesn't feel right, it's just like, Mm, maybe, you know, you know what I mean, cancer, whether this be with like um, a relationship or maybe even like a work situation or something along those lines. I feel like really just trusting this, this, these instincts are going to be key, a key moment here. And I feel like sometimes like we can, I almost feel like sometimes we can we expect the the signals to be like um, like like immediate in a sense, but it's like if it's one of those things that if we because intuition really does trans it can translate in diff in totally different ways. Like how I've started, how I've come to interpret like when intuition on me even it's just like it's it's it evolves all the time. And there's sometimes where it's just like we can't rush this stuff. You know, I just feel like if you find yourself in situations where maybe you're like. I don't know, like a maybe having to like think fast or maybe we're trying to like force it. Maybe that's what it is, Cancer. I feel like maybe some challenges might be like trying to force intuition to happen, you know, like and or like we interpret a signal and then we just think that that's going to be the thing. But it's, you know, intuition, it's 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 it evolves, you know, as we grow, it grows and it gets it's it's fluid. So I just feel like that being adaptable and being open to or paying attention to how these instincts and things grow as you get to learn yourself cancer because it's like when we i feel like when we first get like those those first initial signals and really start tuning in the higher self we get excited and absolutely you know we want to you know we're jumping in everything you know like we're but sometimes it it's yeah, it's just like it's it, it 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 manifests so differently sometimes, you know, or how it grows over time. That's so let me get a little bit more on this four of pentacles here, Cancer. Hold on. Because I feel like there's a little bit more in there. Okay, Cancer, so you got the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Swords upright, and then the Ten of Pentacles upright. Okay, and so I feel like with this energy, it's, because here's the thing, like I was saying, how intuition Intuition is something that I feel like, or when we're thinking about this, you know, can we trust our instincts or something along those lines? I feel that it's, it's another foundation that you're building. And there's going to be, we may not have all the answers at first, you know, where we may want to, we may want to, I feel like it's like we may want to try to really like like really just kind of force the harmony to happen but it's just something that it's going to just naturally sync up with time cancer and something too I feel um, with this is like 
if we tell ourselves or if we feel that we're not intuitive like someone else or something along those lines because I've, I've had people tell me that where it's just like well I'm not as well you know you're intuitive but you know I'm not quite as intuitive it's just like of course you are everyone has this it has a level of in intuition but it's just learning how that translates for me but I feel like it's maybe with this energy it's just like it's because the seven of swords can be a card of lying, you know, and I feel like that's that's a lie that I feel like we tell ourselves, you know, or just a, a deception that we may may tell ourselves, and that that affects your spiritual foundation, Cancer, with the ten of pentacles. So, absolutely know that you do have reserves of intuition. I mean, especially, I mean, you're a water sign. Water signs are represent. I mean, water represents the intuition. So it's like you are absolutely psychic cancer but it's just it's really just figuring out how that looks like on you and and then forming that foundation that's unique to you i, ho I hope that makes sense more more here okay all right cancer let's get some advice from saturn and uranus here Hmm, speaking of, that's an intuitive. <laughs> we got the Hierophant in reverse here. Let's see what else we got, Cancer. Inter huh, and there's the world. Okay, I'm with it. So you got the world, <laughs> Saturn. I love it when you, see how you sync up with the energies, Cancer? You're natural. You got the world here and the Hierophant in reverse, but then we have the Ace of Swords upright. And it's understanding that, Cancer, that you do have this ability. It's just something that it needs to be worked on. And the best way or, you know, some ways that I can think would be just really do, doing some meditation possibly, you know, doing or doing things that can get you in a Zen place. You know, if you feel like you're not making that connection, getting in touch with nature, you know, anything along those lines, doing some creative endeavors, some sculpting, some art, some maybe even like graphic design or uh, whatever that's looking like for you, Cancer Mark. But you, the Hierophant is a bridge between the this realm and the divine, and you're the conduit, Cancer. You're that channel between the two, because you, when you, when you make that connection, then you can manifest your world. But it's just really asking yourself, what does your world look like? You know, do you, how well do you really know you? And then plant that seed, Cancer. Get to know yourself a lot better. You know, really feel your emotions, feel this, how you navigate through this realm, and I. I feel that you'll be just, uh, it, it'll, it'll strengthen over time here. And, and I really feel too, you know, just, just sometimes really just, because thinking with the Seven of Swords here, maybe we got in this Ten of Swords, maybe we had something where we did, maybe it was like a, like a relationship or something, like a situation where it's just like, it's got you doubting your judgment or doubting if you really can trust yourself with decisions and things, but it's, you can, but it's just, it's learning what this lesson was, you know, and because it's, you know, 10 of pentacles and stuff, you know, that's, it's building this foundation. It takes time. It takes patience, hierophant, but where you put in that work, Saturn, Saturn will give you the world, you know, and, and, and then some, but it is, getting that inner knowing first and, 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 and doing those checkpoints here, getting, getting creative, having some fun, Cancer. But um, all right, let's get some more on this, Cancer. Okay. All right, Cancer, last card here. Night, oh, come on, Cancer. Talk about a connection to the divine here. You got the lovers in reverse and let's switch back over. Because with this, with the lovers, this to me, like I, the, one of my favorite things to say about this card is that when the lovers pops up upright, this is this kind of like higher self, just kind of like winking at you, just like you know, like all right, cancer, we're on the right track here, you know, really just kind of listen in. But with with the popping up in reverse, this is kind of higher self, just like cancer. Hey, we need to tune in, you know, really communicate with yourself, check in with your feelings, you know, how have things been going? If you've noticed that it's been like, maybe you've been feeling in five of pentacles, maybe we're doing some healing, maybe we're feeling stuck in a cycle right now, not quite able to get out of this, out of this funk, whatever that is. I feel like the more that you really tune into that, that guidance system, you've, 
whatever situation you find yourself stuck in, you've been stuck before and you've gotten out of it and you've done it again and again and again. And it's just like, just as you, as you level up, the problems level up, but also the rewards level up. 10 of Pentacles, the world, Ace of Cups all day, but it's, li it's listening to that, to that internal guidance system and knowing that, and knowing that, sure, there are going to be some times where we might misinterpret a situ or maybe misinterpret a signal. It's totally normal, but it's it's just like it's just like with like anything else. Like think about working out. You can't just go and you know tackle like three hundred pounds right off the bat. Sometimes we got to start at twenty, and then we get up to thirty. Next thing you know, I'm fast forwarding now. Now we're at a hundred, and then fast forward some more. You know, it's a, it's a work in progress. So. It's something that believe cancer, because really, I mean, you are a, 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 a powerful intuitive. You know, when you think about how to the depths that we can feel and how often we, we, we go through these energies, because we're getting a, the moon being our ruler, we're getting a flavor of every single sign. So it's just like we really are. It can be when you when you tune in cancer. Just watch, because it really, it does, and it doesn't matter whether it's if you're doing divination, or if you're cooking, or if you're just there, or if you're working in even, because you can be, I remember someone told me, um, and I actually was very impressed by that answer. It was, um, we were talking about something and he, another person told me they weren't intuitive and I was just like you're absolutely intuitive what are you good at and he, he, he was just like oh you know what I guess I am intuitive with technology and I was just like absolutely <laughs> I could use some of that <laughs> so it's just like it, it, it really is incredible cancer how, how it how it looks from person to person so just play to your strengths and try not to compare yourself to others because it's gonna look different for everybody cancer so all right I think I'm gonna leave that there. I hope that makes sense. Cause yeah, it's like every, yeah, when you get to talking about intuition and stuff, it's like, how do we talk about that? That's always a fascinating subject. So, but if anything resonated with you, Cancer, give it a thumbs up and share this, you know, cause really, I mean, oh yeah, do a deep dive, Cancer, you know, like, and, and talk about this stuff with people. You know, I feel like the more that we get this spirituality and things into conversation, it, it helps the energy get, help us reconnect, you know, and, you know, not even just individually, but just as with the moon and Aquarius as a soul tribe. So, and um, subscribe after you get done, connect to the soul tribe, all you intuitives. I mean, you may not need, need to subscribe after you really work on this thing, but until then, subscribe, hit that bell button. You'll get notified of these videos each week. And then, huh meditation like i was talking about maybe listen to some binaural beats whatever that's looking like but um i bring that up to say i'm on this meditation app insight timer and i started a group on there called zodiacs raising the vibration and it's just a group to post positive affirmations encouraging messages things along those lines cancer and definitely as the group grows definitely want to do some you know be able you can schedule different meditations and stuff so maybe we'll talk about getting getting in tune with the hierophant or connecting with high you know talk with higher self with the with the lovers or something something like that cancer but definitely check that out it's in the description box and then last thing uh check your sun your moon your rising i got a couple apps in the description box if you want to check those out and all you need really is your date and birth place of birth time of birth you know got your time that's all right cancer we gotta use use that intuition you know we can maybe we gotta i'd say be mindful of your rising and any um your moon sign too because the moon moves really fast as well but um yeah, definitely check that out, Cancer. Then come on over to my other channel, um, Alchemist 8. I do videos weekly there with different themes. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good old time. And all that housekeeping down in the description box below. But let me get you some prize cards here so I can get you out of here. I love that. You got the Temperance card in, uh, up right here. And while I'm getting your Oracle card, Temperance. Oh goodness, Sagittarius energy. When you think about temperance, they're ruled by Jupiter and temperance is about, one is about finding balance. You know, really I feel like finding that Zen space within you, you know, it's, cause after or before the temperance is the death card, Scorpio energy. And as we're learning this stuff, these intuition and thing, and really coming into balance with our energy, you know, temperance is all about growth and expansion. You know, Sagittarius, you know, they're all higher learning and things. So they, Sagittarius is very spiritual energy as well. So I feel that this energy is just like saying, you know, really focus on this, this growth cancer and however that looks, you know, really get that into practice because it's going to help you grow 
in the long run, for sure. Oh, look at that cancer, you get a bonus. Ooh, let's see what's going on here. All right, nice. Oh, I love it. Okay, so you have the you have the calendula card in reverse here, but then we have the the coca card upright. And with this, with the calendula card, this is a card of purity. This is ruled by the sun. I feel like that this is if we've been feeling that just things have been, I don't know if we've just been having these these opinions of ourselves. It's like we can't trust our um, trust our intuition or whatever that is. I feel like it's purifying those thoughts in 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 shining some light on. Yes, you can, Cancer. You do have the foresight because this Coke, uh, Coca card it's foresight. It's ruled huh, by Uranus and Venus. And I feel like when you think about Venus, when I'm thinking about that, it's like when you, if you can nurture that energy and embrace the change, you know, you going into this future, it's going to, it's going to increase that intuition with time, but it's something that is going to be, it's going to be nurture or it's something that you need to nurture and it's going to change. It's going to shift, you know, it'll start off maybe. I mean, for example, cancer, mine used to start, I used to get just like signals in my arm and then it, and then it became just as I, as I just got a little more in tune with the stuff, it, 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 it just grows cancer. So it's just like, it's, it is, it's different for everyone. So whew, just a, just a, a lot to, a lot to think about there, but some fun stuff to think about cancer. So, all right, I think I'm gonna leave that there, but you stay safe out there. <laughs> And yeah, you know, meditate, keep eyes under the moon, maybe meditate under the moon, however that's looking like, you know, but uh, yeah, remember Cancer, you are a powerful intuitive and I will catch you on the next one tomorrow.